Hollywood Studios. It is a couple of days before Christmas. We are here on the actual release date of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And we're at this very congested park today for one reason only. We want to continue the euphoria of the movie, come to the studio, see what new Star Wars stuff there is that came out here today. And actually we're here about six o'clock and Rise of the Resistance queue is closed for the day, but they're up to groups 160. Which means maybe they'll open the queue up for some additional stragglers later? Maybe? Hopefully? Now Star Tours introduced two new scenes today based off of Rise of Skywalker. We'll get back to this in a moment, but you can see we have new posters. Star Destroyers, classic. There's an epic cluster bomb of people here today because we are closing in on Christmas. We're heading in through the tunnel. We've got an X-Wing over here. Our main objective is at the end of this ramp. I want to go to Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities. So there's two new lightsabers introduced today from Rise of Skywalker. If you haven't been here before, by chance, the theming is outstanding. We've made our way in. These are the two new sabers that were introduced. We got Ben Solo and the reinforced Skywalker. How are you guys? All right, so we picked up Ben Solo's saber and actually got a blade too. So I'll show that off when we get back home. There are no other antiquities apparently from the movie here. And the reason why they have Ben Solo saber and not Leia's saber is because it doesn't fit in the timeline of the movie. Look just beyond Doc Ondar, up top there. Little Mando love. I'd be remiss if I did not show off the Millennium Falcon while I'm here. The wait for Smuggler's Run is only 45 minutes. Kylo Ren ship at night. So weird thing, First they do order, have the two. Is, is at the canteen of course. For interrogation. They do have two new sabers, Ray's reinforced saber and Kylo Ren's or Ben Solo's Padawan saber. When I asked about other antiquities from Rise of Skywalker, I was told they wouldn't get them in, like the Wayfinder from the movie or some other items from the movie because it doesn't fit in the timeline and the characters that are here in this day for the timeline where Galaxy's Edge is haven't come across those items yet in the movies so they would not be carrying them here at all. It seems like a huge miss. Star Trooper. Come across Ray, just meandering around here. I do not recall seeing these hats for sale before. So it's 7.20 p.m. the Rise of the Resistance boarding groups are up to 173. They didn't give out much more than that. So it's curious to see if they're going to be able to allow other people want to ride. They've never made it this far before according to the cast members. So while we wait to see if Rise of the Resistance opens up any spots, we're going to get a ride on Star Tours. We have a fast pass now. We're going to go to new locations, Kif Burr, where the wreckage of the Death Star is. And the secret Sith planet. All right, old buddy. It's you and me again. They are precious. They have suspicious to me at all. Strange, perhaps, but... Rex? You can go in and out funny business, but there's one kind of business I don't like. It's the funny kind. So in Tatooine Traders, they have merchandise from the Rise of Skywalker. Let's see what they got. Well, they have the same old shirt. They do have a six inch figure of Wedge. They have a Be a Hero with BB-8 and Dio. The hat, a sparkly shirt. And this little girl's dress with BB-8 and Dio. The little Dio spinners. 
There's a Rise of Skywalker Magic Band limited to 3500 So there's not a lot of new merch that wasn't available during Force Friday and afterwards. But Star Tours, awesome. Kind of action packed now and Star Tours, all new movie and it'll be set that way for some time to come until the movie kind of rubs off and I think they get to like a DVD home release. The cutscene was Lando. I really enjoyed it. Actually, I think Star Tours, back to being the second best ride, Star Wars wise, in Hollywood Studios. It just puts Smuggler's Run down quite a bit. It's Christmas, or Star Wars Christmas. And we're gonna head towards Star Wars Launch Bay. The courtyard is refreshed with Rise of Skywalker signage, as well as new signage above the launch bay sign. All right, we're gonna check out the updated movie at Launch Bay. This will support the making of Rise of Skywalker. And no, I cannot pirate the movie for you. The updated movie was good. Focused on Rise of Skywalker, Clone Wars, video game, Rise of Resistance, all kinds of good stuff. So we're in the first room of props. I don't see anything different in here. We do have Death Star. Classic Star Destroyer, TIE Fighter. I don't see anything new in the Lost and Found. We do have the ice cream machine. But in the preview gallery, the saga continues. The Rise of Skywalker concludes the storyline that left on the screens in The Force Awakens. Start from the back here. Knights of Ren, Sith Trooper. The sign has fallen down. Vic Krull's Scythe. F-111 ABA Heavy Cannon. We've got a Thermal Detonator. Kylo Ren Saber. Whoa, this looks like a modified like E-11 blaster. It's the STW-48 blaster Sith Troopers carry. And then we've got the First Order TIE Fighter. And from the Knights of Ren, we've got Ushar's Helmet. Usher, Usher. He also have Vic Rule's helmet. Sith Jet Trooper helmet. And the First Order Jet Trooper helmet. Almost identical. At Ray, Poe, and Chewie. And here's Poe's Starfighter. It looks very hand painted. Dio. And all this sign is knocked down, it's Poe Dameron. Poe's blaster in the holster as well. Zori Bliss's blaster. Looks like a classic musket. I love that. Jenna's bow. And then we have Ray's repaired lightsaber. This is after it was snapped in half. It's like a leather band around it. Last but not least, the Millennium Falcon. Back with the round disc. Oh, are these shirts new? Kind of like affliction. So, there's not a ton of merchandise for Rise of Skywalker. They did bank pretty heavy on the Sith Troopers, though. They do have this new sequin shiny jacket. The other side has the Rebel insignia. Can buy Princess Leia ears. $78. All right, I'm gonna dip back into Galaxy's Edge and see if they're gonna take any walk-ups for Rise of the Resistance. So, they're not letting other people on. They got an hour and a half to go for closing, but they're not admitting more boarding groups, and pretty much it's just a ghost town over here now. All right, Hollywood Studios, we're getting out of here. I'm back home from Hollywood Studios. I did want to show you guys I picked up the Ben Solo Legacy Lightsaber from Doc Ondars. And again, this is Ben Solo Saber from his Padawan days. So think of the scene when uh, Luke basically just goes to try to um, sneak up on Ben Solo and assassinate him. And then we have the lightsaber shown in that scene, I believe. Um, but this is the box. We'll get a little bit better look at the box. So the box is on my work desk, and excuse the mess around here, we've just not had a lot of time to put 
stuff away. But the box for the Ben Solo Saber, as well as the other uh, Legacy Sabers, we have a couple of them. We have Luke and we have Obi-Wan. I want to show you the Luke Return of the Jedi uh, display box in comparison to the Ben Solo. So Ben Solo on the bottom, Luke Return of the Jedi up top. These cases, I think, are great for display also. So it's a nice hard plastic case. And then you crack it open and you have your sabers. These are nice metal based sabers similar to Master Replicas at the time and the Luke saber is kind of unique because um, up top where the blade goes, at least for Luke, you have uh, interchangeable uh, heads where uh, the blade can either go into another uh, piece that screws on uh, or take this off and screw the other piece on that's similar and the blade goes in there. So you could use them as just hilts and you do purchase them as the hilt and then you would need to also buy a, a uh, blade if you want to insert the blade uh, onto your saber. It's a separate cost. But we'll crack open this Ben Solo saber and see what we get here. And there we go. Try my best to get around the shadows here for you. So, very heavy. You can see where this kind of morphed into uh, the Kylo Ren saber that we're all familiar with now. I think the bottom is red. Um, the one thing that I noticed, because I did cheat a little bit here, and I opened up the box, there's another goodie at the bottom of this Ben Solo box, and uh, what they've included here is uh, a lightsaber hilt uh, clip-on for your belt. This is not included with the other sabers, uh, at least when I bought my other legacy sabers. Maybe they started to insert it with uh, packaging on the newer sabers, but uh, it certainly didn't come with the ones that I bought in the past. So that's a good add-on because they sell that clip at Doc Ondar's itself for like 17 bucks. So we have the Ben Solo Saber and these hilts do come with batteries in them. So be forewarned that if you are not planning on using this and just planning on displaying it, you only want to take the batteries out before they corrode over time. But it does have batteries in it so that the emitter will work once you put a blade into it. Now if you try to turn it on without a blade in it, nothing. If you do this with the sabers that you can build at Galaxy's Edge, I believe this makes like the crackling noise of uh, not emitting, like kind of like an error noise. Okay, so I'm at a little bit of a disadvantage because I don't have the tripod in here, but I am going to put the blade inside the saber. And now, hopefully this ignites. There you have it. Take a look at the hilt close up. And that's the Ben Solo Saber. And that's going to do it for the Rise of Skywalker at Hollywood Studios. We will be back at Hollywood Studios, I believe, tomorrow to try to get back on Rise of the Resistance. Got to get that itch scratched after seeing the movie and get some more Star Wars love in and then well, maybe get over to Epcot or do some other holiday stuff. But for now, thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.